All right, hey, so uh, we're out here in Sagebrush. We were working on one of our greater sage grouse projects. A couple of days ago, uh, we downloaded some GPS data from a grouse that we have a transmitter on and noticed she moved off her nest. So she's been off her nest for about four days and so we're gonna go in and check it out, see what's happening, probably hatched, not sure, but um, you know, we'll count the number of eggs, figure out what's going on, and then uh, add that to our great data set uh, that we're gathering here to figure out um, how to conserve sage grass. So come on. And so we came in, we just found our nest right here. It's full of unhatched eggs, which is way, way rare. Totally not what we expected. We expected this nest to be hatched. Uh, the female was sitting on the, all these eggs for the entire time that it should have been incubating and then just, just left. So we came in. We see now that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unhatched eggs. And so, you know, there's only probably two reasons of why a bird would leave a nest like this. One of which is it was disturbed by a predator and, and flushed off and or died, or these eggs are not viable. So if uh, the bird was breeding and the eggs aren't viable, there's gonna be no um, embryonic development in these eggs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these eggs, we're gonna crack it open to see if there's any development of the eggs at all, see if the eggs are viable and figure out what's going on with uh, this nest and this bird. So why don't you come on in, take a look at this nest here. And so you can see sage grouse, they lay eggs under this sagebrush canopy. This one's in a really dense sagebrush. It's got really good cover from top. So for ravens and aerial predators flying over, they're not gonna see it. They're fairly large eggs, a little smaller than a chicken egg. They've got this greenish hue to them and these really cool speckling. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these eggs and we're gonna crack it open to see if there's any development or if, um, see if the chick was, uh, the hen was, was bred correctly. All right. So it's got a really thick membrane you can see I can barely get through the membrane here. Okay, so this chick has been developing. So there's almost full development of this chick now, which makes this puzzle even more complex of why this hen left. Why would a hen leave a full, a full group of eggs that were in development? We're going to try and piece that puzzle together here in a few minutes. So we um, just looked at the data. We're about 400 meters uh, from where we found that nest. And we've got a cluster of locations from the, the hen that was on that. So what we're going to do now is just kind of zigzag through this area to see if we can find evidence of her, her transmitter, try and figure out what's, what's happening here. So let's, uh, let's take a look kind of through this region and see if we can find out some evidence. We just found a little pile of feathers here. This doesn't bode well for us. Um, these are the tail feathers of our female. As you can see, they were all just pulled right out of her. You know, probably what happened was, you know, twice a day the female comes off the nest to defecate, take a little break, get some food. Uh, she'll come off a hundred or so 100 meters off the nest for about a half hour, feed up, um, and when that happens, they're vulnerable for other predators to come in and out. And likely what happened is she took a break right towards the end, almost, you know, those chicks were almost hatched. Came out, got whacked, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, really important for science to, to document what's going on out here, these predation rates, how productivity is doing. And so, well, it's a pretty unfortunate event. Um, I'm glad we're able to to salvage some data from it.